Hello Libra, welcome to Cardulian Moon. I'm Lisa. And I'm Jo. And we're going to be doing your reading for January 2019. I will be using the Psychic Tarot deck and confirming with the Gilded Tarot deck. And I am a Reiki practitioner, so I will be using, um, I just have the chakra cards here, and I use spirit messages to open up and tell me what I can tell you, um, hopefully for some guidance. Um, if you can hear any sort of windy, whiny noise in the background, my, my dog, mm. I, my German Shepherd is in here with us because um, we actually do the readings in the caravan instead of the house because um, we can't read around my son and, and the dog was kind of getting on his nerves, so the dog's in with us. So we apologise for any weird or wonderful background noises you might be hearing while, while you're here. But um, without further ado, let's get on with your reading. Um, I have already shuffled the cards, mm -hmm. but um, pre-shuffled, but I'll just give them another go and then we can see what's in store for you for January 2019. Hope you had a good Christmas. Yep. Got loads of presents. Maybe got a little bit tiddled. Or not. Yeah, I didn't. <laughs> I, I, I'm not being funny. We've just said maybe get a little bit tiddled. <laughs> this is um, Capricorn energy, but it's also um, about, um, it could be about addictions, temptations and things like that. So I think that's quite funny that that's um, I'm gonna jump out as we said. So yeah. maybe some of you got a little bit more tiddled than you. Um, obviously take what resonates, what doesn't, don't try and make it fit. If um, <clears throat> if someone comes to mind for you during the reading or someone is already in your mind, uh, bear in mind the energies may go back and forth. Um, oh, we've got some nostalgia here already, I can see. <clears throat> Trying to find a balance. I want to work out the truth in this situation. Okay, let's see where we're at here. Really interested in this one because I am a Libra. <laughs> okay. So we've got the lovers here anyway, so that's good. That's Gemini um, influence. So, but I'm a Gemini. Oh, yeah. We're not lovers. No, I know. Yet. <laughs> Um, anyway, um, <clears throat> okay, I think there's been a few, um, hang on, sorry, just bear with me a second, because they're kind of, there's a little bit of, contra no, I don't need help, there's a little bit of contradiction here, and I just want to work it out, you intuitively know, and you're trying to manifest, what are you trying to manifest here? Okay, so you've got this dream. Sorry, it's just very, very sorry. I'm really sorry, but it's 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 very contradictory in the way in the way it's coming out. So it's just taking me a second or two to actually get my head around it. I think there's been um, in regards to relationships. You've been thinking, I feel you've been thinking about an, um, an old love or how, how your love used to be. And you're, you, you're not feeling, you're not feeling it's actually like that at the moment. And you feel like you're missing a balance. A, um, you feel like the yin and yang has sort of gone out of it a little bit. And this is, this has created a sort of, um, an almost devil may care attitude in 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 regards to um oh it's really hard to do when i know i've got a libra sitting <laughs> <laughs> it really is hard i really to want do. to go like this yeah <laughs> very much like that um yeah it's sort of like oh it's, it's like you know what you want to do but you don't and you're you're trying to find the answers but you're at the same time, you're like, oh, I actually don't want to try and find the answers. I don't really want to, it, it, you know, you don't want to rock the boat. You want to 
you are feeling a little imbalanced at the moment. That's that's for sure. Definitely, definitely imbalanced. You need to try and and, and refer and and spiritually you're fine to do that. Will you be quiet, please? Spiritually, you're fine enough to do that. Um, but you're. But yeah, it's like you don't want to rock the boat. You really be quiet. It's like you really, really don't want to rock the boat, and you've got this fulfilment enough. He has not the last word. So sorry, he really does have to have the last word. Enough, Bali. Um. So, oh, oh God, where are you going? <laughs> I'm so sorry, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> Tarot dog it's talking to now. I mean, yes, hello. <clears throat> oh god. I'm so sorry, <laughs> Just bear with us a second, okay. <laughs> uh, <laughs> should we plough on? Yes, it's yes. on. Okay, plough on. I've now got a a fur ball stuck in the arch of my back, but never mind. We will plow on. We will plow on. Okay, so yeah, you've got this sort of like you you want to try. It's like you're, like I said, you're feeling very imbalanced at the moment. Whether this is to do with your relationship or whether it's just in general with things that have been going on in life or or whatever. But you've been getting really nostalgic, and I don't know if if it's the relationship you're currently in, um, that <laughs> the relationship you're currently in if you're thinking of how that used to be, or if you're thinking of an actual past love, um, you feel almost emotionally fulfilled, almost. There's just, I, th I think when you sit down and you actually think about your life, you say, well, hang on a minute, I haven't actually got it that bad. You know, so why am I, why have, why have I got this like missing piece, this missing jigsaw piece that, uh, that isn't making me feel 100% fulfilled? You know, when really I'm, I'm actually, you know, quite lucky compared to some people, I'm actually doing OK. You know, and the thing is, and, and, and the thing is, you're trying to manifest what this last thing might be, you know, what you think this missing piece is. But the thing is, you actually, you don't know what it is. And to be honest, I'm wondering if you're trying to manifest something that isn't there. You know, mm -hmm. sorry. Nice um, yeah, if you're trying to manifest something that isn't there, I mean, I suppose it's depending on your age, but when you're at school, they're, they're always trying to um, trying to push you into wanting more or they're trying to get you to be competitive. I mean, oh, maybe not so much at schools nowadays. Nowadays, everyone's a winner. Um, even if you laugh, everyone's a winner. Um, but, you know, when when we was in school, you know, if, if you're sort of middle age ish um or even if you're in your in your 30s or late 20s i think well, it was very yeah um just, just in case you didn't know. so um yeah you know it was you know competition was healthy and and yeah. now and like and we were always being taught um to sort of strive for more strive for Absolutely. more so if if you've so when you've got it all, are you sometimes thinking, oh, well, there must be something missing because, you know, there's always something yes. to strive for. You're yes. taught to constantly strive. Mm -hmm. So when you have got it all, you know, it's like, oh, well, shit, what do I do now? Yeah. You know, so, you know, because... You can't see the wood for the trees. No, you mm -hmm. know, and, and you, become con you become so content, which is lovely, but then being content all the time in itself gets boring. Yeah. If something's per perfect and it's perfect all the time, it becomes dull and boring and therefore not perfect, you know, and, and it's the the imperfections and the and the ups and downs of life that, that bring you those euphoric highs. And yes, OK, those awful lows. But if you didn't have those awful lows, you'd never know when you were um, like exceptionally high, you know, and have an and euphoric, euphoric. So I feel um, what is a trying to manifest what you're trying to you know you're trying to find this this missing piece that makes life perfect and there isn't one I don't think there is one I think you're I think you're already there you know but you're looking for answers for a question that isn't there if, if that makes sense I mean I'll pull some clarifiers and, and, and we'll see um 
let's see what it is you're trying to manifest. What are you trying to manifest? Let's see if we can get some answers on that one. Because that, that's how I see it. That's how, that's the energies I'm picking up for it. Um, he's finally gone to sleep. I do apologise about him getting involved. But he does like we to be involved. Him. He's a big softie. He's, um, my son has special needs and he, he sometimes goes into the special needs school and the kids literally try and ride him and he's as good as gold. He's um, protective of them and like obviously tries to help them all up and things like that. Okay, the Empress, Taurus uh, energy. Is she Taurus energy, the Empress? She is, isn't she? I think she, Oh, is it the Hierophant? No. Sorry, I've forgotten. On the spot now. Yeah, I'm on the spot now. I've just put myself on the spot. I've forgotten. No, I don't think she is. I can't remember now. Sorry. We went down the pub for dinner and I didn't have a drink. No, me neither. But we've, we've eaten everything in sight. And you know, when you have um, like a big Sunday dinner and you just want to lay down and go to sleep. So, yeah, apologies. But anyway, um, now the Empress, she's she's quite Mother Earthy. And she she's also, like, quite creative. You know, she's fertility. She's about pregnancy. She's about things like that. Yeah, you're trying to... You're going to have a baby. No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, again, she's... Yeah, I, I still feel it means you're trying to, uh, trying to manifest something that isn't... I mean, unless maybe some of you have got, um, some of your children have grown up and they've left home now and you've got a touch of empty nest syndrome, you know, and you're trying to refill that void, that could be feasible. Can I have one more card, please, Spirit? Thank you. Seven of Pentacles, you know, working, working towards, you know, working towards your future, working towards your money. I mean, what, do you think you need more money? Do you think more money's going to make you happy? Because, not from experience, I've never won the lottery or anything, but, I, you know, we all know people that have got money and people that haven't got money, and those that have money, I don't see them having any less stresses or being any no, happier no, than, no, than no, someone no, who lives no. in a cardboard box. Yeah. So, um, yeah, I, it, it, to me, it just doesn't seem... Yeah, see, it's like you're... You're searching for a victory. You're searching for a. You're searching for something that isn't there. The answer to a question that just isn't there. Let me just clarify this this one up here, the truth card, just to double. Double check. The thing is, though, you may have been, while you're searching and not finding the answers because there is no question, um. You may have um started drinking a bit more, smoking a bit more, eating a bit more, oh, it, though Christmas has just gone, we've all let and drunk a bit more, but um, yeah, try not to do that, try not to do that too much, because that isn't actually going to help the situation, Spirit, can I have a clarification on the truth card? Sorry Joe, I'll let you have a go in a minute, That's while fine. I'm shuffling, if there's yeah. anything you want to say, I'll, I'll just... Just for compare, I had two for memories card. This is about nostalgia to tie in with what uh, you were talking about earlier. Um, I also, I mean, everybody needs to cleanse, I think, from January and after the festivities. Um, but I do think it's going to, it will benefit you because the chakra we have for Libra is the sacral chakra. Uh, this is all about your emotions and your desires. Um, your creativity, your sexuality, um, basically you need to start maybe nurture yourself, where you're saying that they, they're looking for something, maybe it's within what they're looking for, um, and obviously speaking as a Libran, I'm kind of biased anyway, and, and yes I do think um, it's, <laughs> <laughs> it, it possibly is time to let go of memory, sorry, pulled another, the let go cards, uh, let go of, of things that you know you can't have, because, yes, exactly, and, you know, hello world, be grateful for what you've got, um, yeah, so take a moment, um, memories are good, because memories create happiness, they also create sadness, but you need the balance, well, they also create not, who we are today, absolutely, yeah. absolutely, but, um, yeah, it's, it's all about, nurturing you I think and cleansing and looking within for the answer okay I pulled out the truth card um I pulled out clarification for the truth card I'll be able to pick it up in a minute 
and we've got the king of wands this is a uh, fire energy um very passionate but it's also creative it's very very creative this person and at the bottom of the deck i've got the magician so you're trying to create you're just trying to create mm. but what is it you're trying to create because there's nothing here that says you need to create for anything you know everything looks pretty good it doesn't, there's no doesn't such thing good. as a perfect world yeah no yeah yeah maybe that's all you're doing you're trying to create perfection enough enough sorry you're trying to create perfection when life's already pretty good so i think i think I concur with that the cards my cards also concur with that i think maybe sorry i know it sounds a bit harsh but just be grateful for what you've got Absolutely. you know and accept what you've got and and i know you've probably been conditioned to always um strive for more do you know what i mean but but I don't feel there's anything you need to strive for, you know. And if you're feeling a bit bored and a, and a bit let down, like let down then, then go and get a new hobby. You know, you've got the passion to do that because the King of Wands come up. Maybe start a new hobby or, or start something new. Start something, you know, that involves just... Where's he going? Find the wires. Thank you. Um, yeah, start a new hobby or something like that. Mm. You know, do, do something just like Joe was saying. You know, do something just for you. Yes. So be careful sorry anyway um that's your reading libra i hope i hope it makes sense to you and i hope some of it resonates um sorry if i me. <laughs> come across a bit blunt i do sometimes when i'm reading i don't mean to um please feel free to comment below uh like share and subscribe and if you hit the little bell that's down there somewhere that will notify you when we next upload some videos or we do some live because we've got some live collaborations coming up mm -hmm. yes yes so, um, we're looking forward to them. Sorry it was a bit um, hit and miss with the dog being in here and that. Apologies for that. Um, he won't always be here and we won't always be stuck in the caravan. <laughs> so um, with that said, uh, Happy New Year and hopefully we'll see you next month. Bye. Take care. Bye.